2 News reporter Sarah Goldenberg explains how urban housing could change the landscape of downtown. Good job. Push, push, push. You doing it? Gary Phillips and his daughters Chloe and Nikki spent their Saturday afternoon on a bike ride through downtown. It's not far from home. The Phillips rent a loft in the Phil Tower. We live on the 19th floor, so we get to see pretty much all of Tulsa. So we don't want to leave downtown if we don't have to. And as soon as something starts to be on the market for sale, then yeah, we'll definitely entertain that idea. That dream could be closer to coming true for some. Developers have big plans for this plot of land at 3rd and South Greenwood Ave. Here behind you is um, is where the Tulsa Open Space Alliance Park is going to be. Patrick Fox is an urban planner. He's co-developing a project called Urban 8 in the East Village. It's the one that's kind of stuck. It's not the Blue Dome. We're very close to the Blue Dome. It's got its own flavor in terms of the types of buildings that are here, in terms of the variety of things that are here. Eight contemporary houses will soon be under construction. There'll be three stories with garages and rooftop decks starting at $330,000. Somebody's looking for that downtown lifestyle, but uh, prefers to own and, uh, and wants the security and the conveniences of a, of a house. This is it. An apartment complex and a large park are also planned for the block. And this building just across from it will be renovated into the OUTU, School of Community Medicine. We are creating a true neighborhood with all the characteristics that an urban neighborhood has. And part of that is ownership. Gary Phillips says Urban 8 sounds like a great start. He hopes this project spurs more urban housing at all price ranges. It needs to be for working class uh, uh, Tulsans as well because if, if you get something that's out of the range of, of everyday uh, Tulsans, then I don't, I, don't, I don't see that being a viable source. And I just think it needs to be open for everyone. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Now construction on the eight homes is scheduled to begin in late spring. Today